Thank you. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, this paper uh, is a result uh, of the European LAF at Biclim project. And uh, the aim of this project was to set up climate change adaptation and mitigation strategies at local scale. And uh, in other words, it's at the scale of the vineyard plot. Uh, why is this? It's because um, the wine specific features are determined by this local scale variation, like a slope, uh, type of soil exposure. And uh, it's at the scale of the plot that wine growers manage their vineyard and adapt to the climate and notably by agricultural uh, practices. And the special variability of climate at local scale should uh, therefore be taken uh, into account when defining a rational climate change adaptation policy. And uh, this approach has been developed and applied in various wine growing regions representative of the uh, European viticulture. You can see here and then uh, on the left of this slide, there's a different uh, uh, pilot site in Europe. Uh, our, uh, um, our proposed solution, uh, it's a definition of adaptation scenarios with uh, assessment of carbon footprint at local scale. Uh, spatial climate viability at local scale has been uh, integrated into uh, the outputs of a regional climate change model. And uh, fine scale agroclimatic modeling combined with uh, one growers production strategies in a multi agent system has uh, enabled uh, development of climate change adaptation scenario based on a spatial uh, climate viability at the vineyard scale uh, with two main objectives. The first is simulate the potential impact of climate change on uh, vine phenology and, and uh, on uh, one growers adaptation strategies and also agronomic itineraries according to the different adaptation uh, strategies. Uh, some example of results uh, in this slide, uh, you can see how local climate viability has been integrated into regional climate change projection for saint million per site in, in France. Uh, on the left, uh, the regional um, model output represents just uh, six uh, grid cells on the pilot site uh, without uh, taking a local climate effect into account. And if you see on the right, uh, the simulation based on the ARCP 8.5, the kind of pessimist scenarios for uh, 2100, show that uh, temperature condition in Saint Emilion, here in this place, uh, will be similar to both in uh, Saragossa and Spain. And this represents an increase of uh, around uh, 700 uh, degree days. However, uh, the spatial variability between the coldest part here in, on the north and the warmest part of the pilot site is more than uh, 400 degree days. And this uh, result shows that we need to consider the spatial variability of climate at local scale to define adaptation uh, responses. Uh, another example concerning the changing grape variety. Here you can see uh, the project change uh, in varieties in each wine growing region uh, of the project according to the RCP 4.5 and RCP 8.5 scenarios. Uh, for example, in this slide at a regional scale, uh, the results show that the temperature condition will no longer be favorable for Merlot. Uh, in uh, saint million around uh, 2040. And uh, at local scale, uh, the change of grape variety can take place at different periods depending on the initial grape variety cultivated in the plot and uh, the differences in temperature observed the vineyard concert. This figure, especially uh, in this, uh, in this, play, in this uh, area, this figure shows simulation of change merlot of Merlot uh, by other grape varieties such as Cabernet Franc or Cabernet Sauvignon, depending on the characteristic of the plot. And this type of uh, result helps the wine growers to define a reasoned adaptation strategy by defining the, the areas of the vineyard where it, will be, where it will be necessary to start changing grape uh, variety. Another example uh, concerning the cultural practices. Uh, the result of simulation of cultural practices according to the climate change scenario, I like the high degree of variability in the number of friction depending on the pellet site and the one grower production profile 
for example, organic conventional or integrated. You can see the variability of the number of uh, cultural practices. In this example, it's in the Coteau du Léon, it's another French pilot site. And the simulation results show a slight increase in the number of actions, especially for organic plots. And this result is largely related to the increase in the number of fungicide treatments. It was essential uh, for us uh, to answer that the climate change adaptation scenario presented in the Green project don't generate more emission responsible for climate change than the, cur the current situation. And uh, total greenhouse gas emission have been calculated for each plot based on the wine growing operation. This make it uh, possible to access the category that emits uh, the most gas emission and therefore to try to limit them in the future scenarios. Uh, the various results of this project uh, were disseminated to the stakeholders uh, by different uh, means of dissemination, like a guidance manual to support my grower, uh, growers' decision making, but different uh, also guidelines for professional and local authorities, as a synthesis leaflet for each pilot site. If you're interested, you can uh, download each uh, document by this link. Uh, conclusion and perspective. Uh, this project has shown that working uh, at local scale can improve the framework for developing adaptation options in response to future climate change. Especially in the scenarios of climate change adaptation can then be a base on the special variability of climate at local scale. And adaptation strategies in response to climate change can include local management of the environment and cultural practices. And for the next step, but now we develop and apply the same approach, but to, uh, to other crops. Thank you very much for your attention.